Good morning, everybody. Week 11 here in Sydney's lockdown. And I hope, number one, everybody out there um, is doing okay. Uh, you know, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and, yeah, so stay strong. Um, as always, if you need help or someone chat, uh, reach out. Guys, today I want to talk to you about uh, being an attraction agent and what that looks like. So one thing I've been finding a lot over lockdown is attraction agent influencer agencies and people um when it comes agents when it comes to social media getting it right and getting it wrong so i just want to touch on a couple of things number one the tv shows like million dollar listing and lux listings um yes i know those agents have sorry about my chewbacca look today i haven't had a haircut um i know those agents appear to you know they're, they're on socials, they're now TV personalities and all that kind of thing. What I want you to remember is these agents have been working for decades in the business, okay? So even like myself, I've had people that have come to me and said, wow, your business has really uh, flourished over the past three years. And it's like, well, yes, it has. But please remember, I've been selling property in, uh, sorry, in January 2022, so next year, I'll have been selling property for 17 years. I'll have been marketing property for 10 years in February on social media. So it's not just happened. It's, you know, it's for me, it's almost two decades of experience, um, which I bring to social. And that's what these, um, I wouldn't say older generations, because some of us are quite young who just embraced social media early. Um, but what I am seeing is some of these agents who, have entered the industry in the past few years and with the rise of social media and influencing and things like that, they're not necessarily getting the experience behind them or the street cred behind them um, to, to make it a success like those who have um, had the experience, done the hard yards and just bringing that to social media. So the one thing, uh, I've got five things I want to I want to cover, uh, cover off on today. So the first thing is be personal, not promotional. Um, the one thing, now what do I mean by that? I'm sitting here in a singlet. Now, it's not an accident. It's not unprofessional. It's not um, because I'm lazy. It's by design. It's Saturday morning. I'm working. I don't have any appointments. I'm cracking on here at the desk um, and we're going to get some work done. Um, but I do find that when I speak to you guys in a more conversational way, it rings through a lot more. So what I do see, and I, number one, with all my content, I'm drawing on 17 years experience, right? Not, I need business, I need business, I need business. A lot of my content that I put out is educational and informative and hopefully sometimes I hope entertaining. Um, but it's, it's, where was I going with that? It's not, I'm not begging for business. I'm not asking for business. Hey, if you want to come and uh, join the team, uh, let's do it. Um, but I'm, I like to think I'm more personable. Um, and you guys get to know me as a person and a business owner. Number two off that, the hard sell is over, guys. Free market appraisal. I really want to touch on this. When was the last time a homeowner paid for a market appraisal? I would probably expect if you put it's going to cost you $50 for a market appraisal, that's probably going to have more engagement, probably for the negative, um, but that would have more engagement than a free market appraisal. I hate to break it to you guys. We all know market appraisals are free. All right. We know that. Um, so you're not actually breaking the mold by putting on your socials, putting DLs in the letterbox drop, saying free market appraisal. It's actually a wasted opportunity. Uh, what I would suggest, if you're going to put anything out there, educate. People at the moment, number one, they know market appraisals are free. But number two, what they want to know is, how are we selling property through COVID? How are we leasing property through COVID? Are there buyers out there? How are we bringing people through properties in a safe way? Why? What is a virtual inspection? I keep seeing people posting shit about virtual inspections, um, and but no one actually demonstrates what it looks like. I mean, hello, let's talk to our marketplace, not ram shit down their throat. Now, I'm sorry. Um, I know I did a live on this this morning and I was swearing a lot, but this is something I'm so passionate about and I really want to break it through to you guys. The next one that I just cannot stand is this three-minute appraisal. 
via text. And I'm going to give you an example. I have a client in Melbourne who had a competitor who appraised the property, all right? Their competitor appraised the property at this price. The husband, uh, then he put something on, or the company put something on their Instagram page about this three minute uh, SMS, uh, 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 SMS, your address or whatever, and I'll respond with a figure. Oh, I think it was about 10 minutes later or something. 10 minutes later, the price came in $200,000 less than what the agent appraised it at. The agent actually sent the text message from his phone. What do you think happened to his credibility? He's gone in and appraised it at this level. The text message has appraised it at this level. Why? Because it was an RP data appraised price. The RP data took no consideration into the renovations that have been done to the property, um, the added, added bedrooms and things like that. No, uh, recent sales, especially how quickly the market's moving at the moment. So he showed himself in the book. So if you're going to put out that bloody, um, what is it, the, uh, send me a text with your address, waste fucking time. I'm sorry. Um, I know it is a good tool to get the phone ringing. That's great, but can backfire. So if you are going to put something out there like for, for quick and speed, I'm, I'm all about that. I'm all about convenience. But think about how it can be detrimental, but think about how you can add value um, to that. So maybe do away with the three minute appraisals. Do the work and the goal will come. Guys, I come from a time where, as I'm sure most of you watching this uh, do as well, remember when we worked on Sundays. Remember when we put buyers in a car on a Sunday and drove them around. And you, we all know the, the, the tricks. Don't drive past your competitor signboards. Show them the you know, the worst house first and build it up and show them the best house last. I, I was doing that. Um, I came from a time when, you know, we had the core flute signboards and it was my job for the first 12 months. Bang, hammering the wooden stakes. You remember those days? Hammering the wooden stakes in and drilling the hole in and trying to match it up with the hole from the one before. And the sign, the for sale signboard was so weathered, you could barely read it because it was sun bleached or whatever it was. Um, that's how I earned my stripes. Like I'm sure most of you guys did. That's the kind of thing that you should be putting out there as far as how things have changed and how we've progressed. Guys, we're not in 1980 anymore. The free market appraisal will not work. Everyone knows it's free. So what I'm trying to get you to do is think of a 2021, 2022, 2023 mindset. Uh, and yeah, sorry, like I've covered off on 17 years of work um, and I'm using my experience to connect. So that's basically, I'm drawing on what I've done and I've mentioned it here a couple of times, drawing on what I've done over the last 17 years and putting that into social media and the last 10 years of marketing property on social media. The last one is, I know a lot of people say, Nick, you don't get any likes, comments, um, or anything like that, and you don't have a lot of followers for someone who owns a marketing agency. Couldn't give a fuck. Um, and I'll tell you why. My business has got 59 leads in the last two weeks. I've closed about 12. 12 new clients in my business in the past two weeks. That's almost like one a day, one new client a day for my company. And I'm sitting here talking to you today in a single All right, so guys, the thing is, I'm not saying my content works. My content works for some people. It doesn't work for everybody, and that's fine. That is completely fine. Not every client, I don't want every client either. Um, what I'm trying to stress to you is if your social is not generating leads, I don't care about likes, comments, or followers. If your social media is not generating leads, inquiries, uh, you might remember, if I haven't put it up yet, I will um, put it up somewhere uh, in the field. I had a client last week, you've got 10 and a half thousand now up to about 15,000 engagements. That's link clicks, likes, and comments. The main is the link clicks. So 15, I touch over 15,000, he got in three days. I think it was 10 and a half thousand link clicks he got and the rest were likes, comments, and stuff like that. Imagine going to a seller and saying, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I have 10 and a half thousand link clicks on my recent property in three days. Are you interested in selling? Boom, there's a point of difference in the selling tool. How did we get that? Now, mind you, we did not spend $1 on marketing. Not $1 on a boost. Don't ever boost, ads only, always. Um, we'll go into that another day. Um, but guys, that's results for me. 10 and a half thousand link clicks. He can now confidently go to an owner um, and say, boom, this is what we do that another agent can't. We will have a masterclass on how to sell results to your, uh, to your 
than Northern Landlords at another day. Um, but guys, that's it for today. You can't, I, I, for any of those younger guys starting out, by all means, get your social presence thumping because you are going to need it in the next couple of years. I think the way things are going, everyone's going to be a brand unto themselves within a brand. Um, and, you know, social is going to have a greater impact. We're not going back to the way things were. Um, if you haven't watched the Facebook Live video, which I think is a couple over, me and a uh, grey shirt and I think a cap, I can't remember, go, please go and watch that because that, I think, is where um, the industry is going forward. Hope that added some value to your day. I do apologise about the swearing, but this is something that I really felt um, needed to be brought to the forefront. As always, I'm here if you have any questions or concerns, and I hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon, guys.